Hi guys, Darren from Ben and Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, what I decided to do today was have a little bit of an experiment day. So, what I've got is some colours made up, which are these ones here, that are made from one pourer medium. And the exact same colours, but with a different pourer medium. And we're going to see what difference your pouring medium makes to the shape of your cells. We're going to use the exact same pillow paint, the exact same cell activator. The only difference is the pouring medium that I've changed. They're all the same consistency. So let's go and see what happens. What we'll do is grab our first lot of colours with our first pouring medium. Now the pouring medium is untinted house paint here in Australia. So we'll start putting some of this down. And we'll do a bloom. Why not? Let's do a bloom with it. So I'm just going to put all these colours down, one after another. You're going to try and put the same amount of cell activator down, same amount of paint down. Just so we can see the difference in what happens. That one. It's <laughs> a lighter one. Let's use that. And we'll go the light blue. like that okay so we're going to start with that we'll blow it out after we put the cell activator on where is it there it is so that cell activator is Amsterdam oxide black mixed with Australian flow troll it's roughly about three and a half four to one Bit of blob of that. And blob of that. Okay. Now we'll blow it out. Okay, now I'm not going to modify these in any way, I'm just going to spin them out and see what the cells look like. Okay, so already with this pourer medium, I can see 
where is it there we haven't got cells all through this section where it's been blown out those sections we do so we'll put that down give that a spin Torch some of those bubbles. Okay, pop that one up. Okay. So that there, see you really don't have many cells in that section of it, over in that section there's no cells, still looks cool but I prefer it all cells making looking you know really cool and what have you. So what we will do now is that was our first pour medium, which was actually British Paints water-based enamel. Okay, that's what we get here in Australia. We used to have Torbman's Easy Coat Door and Trim, but that was discontinued, so. We've had to use other bits and pieces. This one is the water-based enamel. So what I'll do is I'll do a flyover of this so you can get a closer look at it. Then we will do another bloom, exactly the same, same layering, same everything, but with a different pourer medium. That way you can get to see what the difference is between the two. Because when it comes to cells, it's not just the pillow paint you use, how thick it is, or the quality of your paint, or how thick your paint is, or your cell activator, whether you use an Australian flow troll or an American flow troll, or even just water and paint. You need a good combination of all the different components to give you cool cells. If one's out, where consistency might be out a little bit, you can get away with it. It's still going to give you cells all over the place. But if your pillow paint, pouring medium, quality of your paints, your cell activator, don't quite suit each other, you're not going to get an abundance of fantastic cells. So we'll put this to one side and we'll do another one. Okie dokie. Let's do it with a different pourer medium now. Let's see what happens. There's our purple. Magenta. Blue. Pink.
and the lighter blue. All right, selectivator. Get two blobs of that down. And give her a blow. Might move that in the middle a little bit. Okay. Torch some bubbles out. Black pillow paint's got a whole heap of bubbles in it because I only just decanted it this morning. Alright, give that selectivator a bit of a blow. Alright, so you can already see it's got a lot more cells in it. So what we'll do is spin that sucker out. I love black pillows, but I hate the black pillow paint. Ugh. Talk about messy. Alright, so we'll give that a spin. Okay. So we'll pop that one up. Move that out of the way. So. What I'll do is I'll do a fly over that one. And then you can just compare the two. You can see this one has more cells. I probably could have blown it out a little bit better, but you know these things happen but it um, it definitely makes a difference to getting cells having the right poor and mediums um, you know all the paints are different in all the different countries so you're going to have different combinations that people use, like the Bear 8300 in America or Valspar or whatever, is different to what we get over here with British paints, your Taubmans, and, you know, whatever else. So, you'll notice that cell structures look different in different countries, and that's nine times out of ten is because of the pouring medium that they're using. Even if you're using the same tube paints, the same pigments, um, the same Joson, your varnish, you know, it, um, there is variables there that'll give different cell structures and different amounts of cells. So, alrighty. So, that just goes to show um, a different pourer medium. If you're not getting cells to work the way you want them to, try changing your pourer medium up. Swap it for something else that might work a little bit better. You never know your luck. Alright guys, if you like that one, please hit like, share and subscribe. 
ring the notification bell because that helps me with that YouTube algorithm. That is it from me today. So have fun, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.